Well, we didn't lose much from last year, so uh, our key players will be back, and uh, I'm real confident that we're going to do a good job of protecting the ball, getting a solid running game going, and also protecting me in the pocket uh, and uh, improving our passing game from last year. We're just trying to work hard, trying to get our chemistry together. I uh, hope we get ready for this season. That's about it. We're well, just getting back in the groove with everybody, you know, getting back, you know, comfortable with everybody and, and, and running around and just, you know what I'm saying, trying to get the final points back. It's going to be tough. It's going to be demanding. Um, but nothing different than last year, and we got to take it one game at a time and just um, you know break down each week's opponent as best we can. You know, there's 18 guys, senior guys on this team, and we're all fighting for one thing, and that's that ring. And so whatever we got to do, we're going to do, and help Coach P get that ring also. It's having a veteran team makes it makes a world of difference. Um, and you know, the, then when you name, you know, when you name, I'll just name three names at this time. Obviously, there's more of the name, and we'll name more in the press conference, but. Everybody would like to have on their team Jason Williams on their defense, you know, and he's on our team, so that's good. <laughs> then everybody would like to have Herb, Herb Donaldson on their offense, and he's on our team. And everybody would like to have Jason, I'm sorry, everybody would like to have Taylor Rowan be their place kicker. So, you know, we've got, we've got more names than that, fortunately. But when you just name those three names, we've, we've, got, we've got a ball player in all three areas that any team would be happy to have. This is my 26th year of being a Division I football coach. And I'm going to give it all I've got because that's what Western Illinois deserves, obviously, from me, and that's what Coach P wants me to do. So I'm not going to hold back. I'm going to do everything I can uh, for, for this season to be very, very successful. Well, ain't, ain't nothing like having your head coach around, and you know what I'm saying, it's different without him around, you know, as far as just his presence. Because, you know what I'm saying, I mean, we, we, we're pretty good with all our coaches, and, you know what I'm saying, we still ain't going to miss a beat. But it's nothing just like having your head coach around. He lives well. and. It's kind of shocking. It kind of brought us down, but you know, he kept giving us words of encouragement, and we gave him words of encouragement. And I think we'll be okay. That's a lot different. Um, losing a figurehead like that um, is always tough, and you're worried about him because he's going through a real difficult time, and he's he's in all of our prayers. Um, we're hoping he can get better as soon as possible. But Coach Hendrickson, uh, he's done a great job stepping up. I've worked every day, literally. I've been in an office every single day for 15 years with Don Patterson, and now I'm in the office, and uh, and Coach P is not there. Um, but 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 obviously, um, along with uh, you know having Donnie mentor me along the way, I certainly feel very well prepared you know for, for the, the job that I'm put into.